Hello, Katya here, and welcome uh, to the Pinna Bear uh, tutorial. Today I will do like a art journal page in my journal. It's Pinna Bear journal, and you see me have already. Uh, take off the spines uh, because I'm creating in the journal and sometimes uh, I so I'm afraid I will destroy the pages so I have off the spines and keep it like that so inside my journal I have uh, like a pocket and uh, I like to create on that page I start to cover my uh, journal uh, with the clear gesso and uh, you see me I also use uh, fingers it will be clear and that is uh, because I want the colors to move and uh, to not get dry okay I uh, you see uh, saw that I use my heating gun to finish up drying. Here uh, I will uh, add some background interest on my pocket in the inside the page. Uh, it's um, washi tape. I don't remember the name for the washi tape. You can use uh, of course any brand you like. And this is uh, like a background interest. Um, uh, the washi tape that I use, uh, they comes from Prima. Here you can see me, I have uh, done some cutouts from some papers. Uh, I want to add them uh, like interest. And they come from the AB Studio. Um, diary collection and here you see gorgeous paper with the uh, vintage uh, text and bingo and uh, uh, indifference so I cut out the three different uh, colors and uh, uh, to not uh, get too similar so a little bit different and now you see me trying out so in the background I want the washi tape and then I want the paper to show and uh, to have my flowers and here you theme, see me trying around how I will do the composition uh, when I do like this I haven't decided uh, I try out and perhaps I doesn't uh, I don't do as I tr uh, like I try here I have some Finabar soft matte gel and um, it's a clear thin gel and I will add it in the background of my paper and I also can use it on the surface uh, these papers I haven't used clear gesso on and you will see me that I will uh, have some clear gesso on my paper pieces and uh, that is to make some interest uh, on my background um, I like my pages to be a little bit busy but not too busy uh, because I have an idea on my focal point and this is to this is to have create some some interest around my focal point so you see me working with the soft matte gel and these papers they are just gorgeous there are so many uh, different paper collections and you can do fun cutouts um, and use it on different ways and uh, when it's uh, cut out it's perfect for art journaling uh, so you can use them in your journals
This technique what I use, you can use it on any project that you like. Here it's inside of my art journal uh, paper. And now you see me applying the clear gesso on uh, the page and um, leave to dry and you see how it gets clear. Uh, now I will use, and you're so sure if you have followed follow me, uh, you know I love the liquid acrylic paints. And here I will show you how you can use the paint. Uh, the burnt sienna uh, it's perfect for vintage projects. Uh, there is one other color you can use also. And you saw that I was spraying a little bit water and then I'm applying. I'm not painting. Uh, I think I'm the name tapping. Um, and I'm playing around uh, only a little bit color and I'm doing like a shadow effect. I want it to be like a um, vintage page or um, something like that. You should, you could also do this with coffee if you like, but the burnt sienna have so gorgeous uh, color and you see me sprinkle a little bit also and spraying water. So if it's getting too much, you only spraying water and uh, have a towel or a baby wipe or something and it's easy to take off and that's because you have the clear gesso. Now I have the Finabat 3D matte gel. Uh, now today I have this in the stencil ornate lace. Uh, I usually use 3D matte gel to glue with but to show you it works perfect to get some more fine detail. Uh, the 3D matte gel, if you don't have, oh, I'm so sorry. <coughs> uh, if you don't have too much, it dries clear. But if you have it very thick, it gets like, um, uh, a little bit effect and now you see when it's dry it's only on some some places it's a uh, light light color but almost clear and uh, that's uh, the effect what I was uh, what I'm going to have today and this uh, liquid acrylics they have white yes tit titanium white and to use it on craft uh, color, I think that's amazing. And this white, it's the only color that's uh, shown on the dark. You can use it on black or other colored paper and it works. And I love it. Uh, and you see me also here tapping around with the white and uh, not using the brush so I'm trying to do a little bit randomly and then adding some water now and then depends how much so this is uh, will be in my background and um, I was drying between uh, and now I will do some splattering uh, depends how you splatter uh, you will have a different dots uh, and it's so difficult to see but it gets uh, a fine detailed uh, effect. On this page I have could use more papers and or other stuff in the background but I wanted it to have uh, empty on the edges on some way. And here you see me sprinkle and when I'm tapping with my scissors like that, then my dots get really fine uh, and small. So now before I will work, do anything with it, it must dry very well. 
I'm so happy you're here. Uh, be sure to subscribe to not miss any notifications. Uh, subscribe and uh, you see there is a bell at the bottom. Uh, be sure to click on the bell so you will get the notifications. Here. I'm stamping randomly. I'm stamping a little bit randomly between the brown and the black, so I have more interest. And I'm stamp stamping around where I will have my flowers. Uh, because uh, to net not get all of my page too busy. And now it's time to add the flowers that I have, uh, that I have cut out. And uh, I use the soft matte gel. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky now when you have a little bit surface, but it works um, to paint on the back side uh, and uh, add it where you want it. And now the washi tape and my papers, they only show a little bit. And that is exactly what I uh, wanted. I doesn't uh, want them to show so much. I want it to be a part of the background. So that was what I wanted. And also my flowers is still a kind of my background. Uh, and um, yeah, I really wanted to have a vintage project. I was thinking to add some teal or pink to the page, but yeah, I could add some colors uh, to m more pop, to make it more pop, but I wanted to have it um, like more vintage. And here you see me trying out uh, how I want my focal point. I want this uh, metallic label, a vintage label, to be in the focal point. So I had more uh, cutouts from AB Studios paper. I also have some rust rustic washers from Finabar uh, around my focal point. Uh, so my label doesn't feel so alone and too much big contrast. So I, that's why I have some metallic embellishment in the background. And you see me changing my mind suddenly and then I must try out. Uh, so that's how I work. Little bit planning and a little bit uh, spontaneous. Uh, the most important thing is to not to have too much dimensional. Uh, I really love some dimension, but not too much because it's in my art journal. And here you see me picking uh, out. I have some metallic numbers in different sizes from Finnebar and Prima and uh, I realize that I need something to make some contrast. It's uh, the flowers around, my metallics around, it's very rounded shapes. Uh, so some of the numbers give a contrast to my page. So I could have some other embellishment or stars or, or something, something that give contrast to my page. That's uh, why I was using the numbers. And yes, you see me doing some lay uh, layering and having some foam tape to add things so uh, they will stay. So a little bit this foam uh, dots uh, foam are not uh, so thick. Uh, 
and you can have cardboard or something else. So you see me with the 3D matte gel, I'm gluing my embellishments and my papers and adding the numbers and I have them a little bit here and there only to make some fine detail. Um, and I have some small pieces of lace because I think the clock was feeling a little bit alone there. So it need to have something around it. Um, yes, now you see me use the burnt sienna. I have one watercolor pen and I will take, I will doing, I'm um, doing like uh, more like a shadow effect around my flowers uh, so I want it to be darker around them uh, they are like beige brown the flowers and around them this burnt sienna you see me I'm adding it and I have this watercolor brush pen uh, so I can uh, squeeze out some water and uh, I can play around with the pencil, uh, the watercolor brush or and my to make like a shadow effect around my flowers. So I will be so so happy. If you want, if you leave a comment and tell me what you think, I read all the comments. Sometimes I'm so very busy at my work or creating and something like that. I'm not having the time to answer direct, but for sure I read all the comments. Now it's time to some fine detailed. It's also one of my favorites, soft material in some places and I have in my hands some cup uh, color uh, micro beads small small beads and these are in brown coppery and just to make some random uh, interest here and you see me I'm deciding if I'm finished or not and I was deciding that I need more splatters, so I want to have some black splatters also uh, to give it more like a little bit messy look. Uh, and I think I'm happy with it. And I hope you have enjoyed my video with uh, Finabear products and AB Studio papers and um, Yes, leave a comment. And you see me, I'm framing my page. I'm having a black pen and it's very thin and not so much color in it. And that's perfect because I want it to be like a discreet framing. So I'm so happy and lucky that I can share uh, my tutorials with you and uh, happy and you see I try to have a shape here uh, some dimension but not too much a little bit uh, vintagey uh, like that so much love to you and uh, have a nice day and see you in my uh, next tutorial bye bye see you